All right, let's get this started. Hey y'all, this is Tasha. Welcome back to Amazing Reads. I know it's been a while. I'm so excited to be back. Today I wanted to do my June TBR for you all. Um, and let's just get right into it. So the first book that I have on my TBR list is the final revival, or excuse me, yeah, Final Revival of Opal and Nev by Donnie Walton. Um, this is a oral history involving two people um, in a punk rock band. That's all that I know about it, but I'm really excited to get to it. The next one that I have is Win Witch by Susan Dennard. Um, this is a this is the second book in the Witchland series. The newest book comes out at the end of this month on the 22nd, uh, which is Witch Shadow, which is these alt stories. So I'm very excited. So I'm just doing a reread of this. Um, I hope to read this one and at least Sight Witch this month, but we will see. The next book that I have is a nonfiction and it's Footnotes by Cassine Gaines. And this is about um, the black artist on Broadway. Um, it sounds super interesting. Um, and this came out last month and I'm really excited to get to it because I really do love musicals and Broadway and all that kind of stuff. The next book that I have on my list is Cemetery Boys by Aiden Thomas. Um, I am doing a read of a couple categories of the Hugo nominations. Um, the winners are announced in August. So um, there are a few books on there that I do wanna get to and read for the Hugos. Um, so we'll just see about um, how many I can finish before August. It's just a little project that I'm working on. So this is Aiden Thomas's first book. It follows a brujo. Um, I don't know a whole lot about it, but I've heard really good things about it. And I have this on audio, so I'm probably gonna listen to it. The next book that I have is The Calculating Stars by Mary Robinette Kowal. <clears throat> and this is the first book in the uh, Lady Astronaut series. Um, this is something else. I think the third or fourth book is nominated for the Hugo. So this is a part of our Hugo project. So I do want to read that. The next book that I have is The Last La the Last Mirror on the Left by Lamar Giles. Um, this is a book that I am reading. Um, it's the second book in the Austin Boys series. This is a middle grade mystery series involving two black boys. There's so much black boy joy in this and they're just solving mysteries. Um, and I just, I really think that we need more like this. And I'm on the hunt for like the best middle grade I can find. So really excited to get to this one. The next one is A Beast, and it's The Ruin of Kings by Jen Lyons. Um, this is a fantasy novel. I think we follow a guy who doesn't know he's the chosen one, but he is the chosen one. Um, pretty basic stuff. There are four books in this series, and this is one of the series that I wanted to start this year, so no time like the present. So let me read this one, The Ruin of Kings. I'm currently in the last like 150 pages of We Free the Stars. I'm hoping to finish this one soon. Um, I just, I, it's not that I'm not liking it. I just haven't been, my reading moods have been iffy. So um, that's what's going on here. But this is the second book after We Hunt the Flame. I'm in the, uh, let's see, Arwaya, Ar Arwaya series. And this is basically following um, Zephira, who's the huntress, and Nasir, who is the Prince of Death. Um, they embark on this mission in the first book, and the second one is continuing exactly where the first book ended. And there's just so much going on in here, and the romance is really angsty, so I'm really enjoying it. And I can't wait to read the last little bit of this. The next book. The next book that I'm in the middle of is The Secret Lives of Geek Girls. This is a, an anthology. It has short stories, comics, um, all kinds of things in here. And it's just talking about geek girl culture. Um, I'm very, it's, it's so good so far, the first two stories that I've read. So I can't wait to read some more of this. The next book I just have the dust jacket of, but I'm in the middle of reading this and it's Raya and the Blood of the Nectar by Payal. Doshi, this is Indian mythology. Um, it's a middle grade that follows a girl whose twin brother goes missing. Um, she has a mysterious father, so she doesn't know him. 
um, and there's something it's all connected I'm about six chapters in I'm really enjoying it there'll be a full review up on the blog here pretty soon um, hopefully this week is the plan so we'll see where we are at with that but this is something else that I'm currently reading also i have a big stack of picture books that i want to get through um i've been reading i've been reading some picture books because i'm trying to create a couple of lists for teachers that tells them um, books that they should include in their classroom and books that cover different topics that are important to the age group that picture books are are um they're geared towards so that's what it is with the picture books so I just really want to read a whole ton of those to break up some of the heavier things that I'm reading um <clears throat> now let's talk about all of the advanced reader copies that I have that come out this month I'm just gonna look down at my book um coming out today we have The Chosen and the Beautiful by Ni Vo um, this is a Gatsby retelling that follows the Vietnamese character Jordan Brown. Um, the Son of the House, and I will put the author's name on the screen. Um, I'll put the cover here, actually. Um, I'm not real sure what this is about. All I know it's a literary fiction, and I want to say that it takes place in West Africa. Not 100% sure. The next one that I have is Radium Girls. Uh, this is a collection of short stories. As y'all know, I'm trying to um, figure out what I like in short stories and everything. So I've been reading quite a few of those. Um, the next one is Marcus Makes a Movie. This is by Kevin Hart. This is a middle grade. This is the first in a series. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Again, like I said, I'm looking for the perfect middle grade. So we'll see what we can find out. And all of those come out on June 1st or today, hopefully. Hopefully this video goes up today. Um, the next one that I have is another middle gray crossing the stream. Um, I, again, I don't know a whole lot about it, but I know that the synopsis sounded good. What I'll do is link all these down below um, with the Goodreads link so that y'all can look at them. And the last one that I have is an Art for Nowhere Girl, a memoir. And this is a memoir about a girl who... Um, who basically just kind of grew up everywhere kind of off the grid and then like her coming into society basically I'm a part of a blog tour for this one so there will be a full review up on the blog um, the blog has been activated there was a post that went up today there's one that's going up tomorrow so um, just be looking out for those reviews. I'll try to review books as quickly as I can on there. I do have quite a bit of a backlog, so we'll try to get through that as soon as possible. In that, it's pretty much everything that I have. This is a real short video. Um, so let's see. <clears throat> Let me know what you plan to read in the month of June. If you like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up subscribe if you want to hit the notification bell um, I am back I'm trying to post three videos a week so we will see how that goes um, and I'm just so excited to be back in here talking to you all so I will see you all in the next video bye